everyone I welcome you to lesson four of taxation now this lesson is to expose us to tax accounting principles so by the end of this session you should be able to differentiate between year of assessment and basis period and also have an understanding of the various types of basis period that we've had over the years So the key issues to be covered are year of assessment and then basis period. Now these are the reference material. Now remember that for purposes of taxation, an individual or a business would be taxed in a specific period. Now there are two things that you have to note here. You need to know the year of assessment and then you need to know the basis period. First of all, what is year of assessment? When we talk about year of assessment, basically we are looking at the government financial year. And the government financial year simply is from 1st January to 31st December. So we have the 2018 year of assessment, 2019 year of assessment, 2020 year of assessment. So if you want to assess the tax you have to pay on your income, it should be within a year of assessment. So how much is your income generated for purposes of taxation in 2020 year of assessment? So every income should be determined within a year of what? Of assessment. So in the ordinary sense, it is the period under consideration for tax purposes. So invariably, that is the same as the government fiscal year or budget year. So in Ghana, we have it from 1st January to 31st December. So we can talk about the 27 year of assessment. So when you are to determine the income that a business has made, you look at in 2017 year of assessment, what was the income generated? in 2019 year of assessment in 2020 year of assessment which is the calendar year or the government financial year which in ghana we have it from 1st january to 31st december that's our year of assessment now some other jurisdiction may have different uh year of assessment ours is from 1st january to 31st december but when you go to the uk it's from the state of april to fifth of april the next year uh india may have a different one and all but in ghana remember it begins first of january to 31st of december previously it used to be from july 1st to 30th of june of the following year but now it's from the first of january to 31st of december that is the year of assessment in ghana now, what then is the basis period? So let's say uh, you are an employee and you have to pay tax on the income that you got during the, the year. Now, you are employed in, say, 2019. So we have to determine your tax for the 2019 year of assessment, which is from 1st January to 31st December. But because you may have been employed in September of 2019, your basis period, which we refer to as your reference point, may not start from 1st January because you were not employed as a 1st January. Rather, in the 2019 year of assessment, your employment started from what? 1st September. So the reference point for purposes of taxation is what we refer to as the basis period. So basis period is the period by reference to which the accessible income of a person is computed. Now this period by reference to which the accessible income is what? Is determined. Now it defines the income to assess in a particular year of assessment. So within the 2020 year of assessment, if you are employed 1st June, then within the 2020, which is from 1st January to 31st December, your reference point or your basis period will be 1st June to December 31st. So it determines 
by reference how we should determine or compute the income of a person. So take note that the basis period is the reference point for the computation of a person's accessible income within a year of what? Assessment. But this may be slightly different for corporations or businesses. But we'll look at the different transitions that we've had in terms of uh, the year of assessments and therefore the basis periods. All right. Now we also have the basis period for individuals and what? And companies. For individuals and partnerships, just as I said, it is from 1st January to 31st December. But the reference points may differ depending on what we are looking at. Okay, so companies will also, the basis period of a company will also be their accounting year. So currently, for companies, it's not just 1st January to 31st December, but rather the accounting year of the company. Remember, companies have different accounting years. Some companies' accounting years start from uh, 1st July and end uh, 30th June of the next year. Some have their accounting period starting from 1st September and ending 31st of August of the next year. So your accounting year is your basis period if you're a company or a trust. But in Ghana, most companies have their accounting year from 1st January to 31st December. But you may have others with accounting year which are different from the calendar year, which is the uh, year of assessment. Now we've had different developments in our basis period as a country. So over the years, we used to have what we call the preceding year uh, system, and then we moved on to the current year. And now we use the accounting year as the reference point for determining your uh, tax liability. That is for businesses. For individual is the calendar year. All right, so like I said, we started with the preceding year. So uh, between uh, 1944 to uh, 1982, we're using the preceding year. So uh, the government fiscal year then was from 1st July to 30th June of the following year. So your income will be assessed in the year immediately preceding the year of assessment. So if you want to determine your income in 2019, it will be done in 2020. So the 2020 year of assessment will take a basis period from 2019 income that was generated to determine your what? Your income for that year. So we assess you a year after uh, the basis period. So the year of assessment is immediately after the basis period, yeah. Okay, so we may have this, for example, for the year 1980-1981, uh, the basis period would have been the previous year for income from employment. We'll be looking at from 1st July 80 to 81 June, from investments would have been different. So we use the previous years as your what? As your basis period for the current year of assessment. That was the preceding year approach, which we have long passed that we moved on. The advantage was that it will help you to be certain because you, you are determining the income someone had last year in this year. So you are certain of exactly how much the income was. So it allows for certainty. But the disadvantage is that it delays the realization and collection because before you can collect it, collect the tax, you should have made a determination and the determination is done a year after. So that delays the realization and collection of tax. And also another disadvantage is, is using the, is the threat of inflation. So you are determining the tax a year after for which the amount to be paid may have been affected by inflation. So the, uh, the value thereof would have been reduced because of the time value of money issues. So this principle had a lot of disadvantages, but the advantage was that well, if you do it a year after, then you're able to be certain as to exactly how much income the person had generated in the previous year. 
Okay. So we moved on uh, to the current year principle, which more or less link the year of assessment to the basis period. So the year of assessment would then be the same as the basis period. So if your basis period is from uh, uh, 1st January to 31st December, that will be the same as the, your year of assessment. If it's from 1st July to 30th of June the next year, that will be your year of assessment. That was the current year. Again, we moved on to what we have currently, which is the accounting year system. So for every for individuals, your basis period is the same as the year of assessment. So individuals your, from your employment income, you have to determine your basis period, which is a reference point. So if you are employed in September, you look at the year of assessment, which is 1st January to 31st December, September to December, how many months? That will be the reference point or the basis period for individuals. But for businesses, vocations, trade, your year of assessment, your basis period will be the same as your accounting year. But most businesses have their accounting year being the same as uh, the calendar year or the year of assessment, so no issue. But there are other businesses that would have the accounting year different from the year of assessment because they may have started somewhere within the year and they decided to use that as the accounting year and not the calendar year. So there is a bit of uh, a difference in there. So let's look at an illustration straight away. So for example, if a business prepares its account to 30th June each year, it means that the accounting year ends where 30th June. Then the basis period for 1999 will be as follows. Because they prepare the accounts to 30th June, if you want to determine their basis period for the year of assessment 1999, it will be from 1st July 1998 to 30th June 1999. So the 1999 year of assessment, if you want to determine their tax to be paid for the 1999 year of assessment, you have to start from the accounting year. Remember we are using the accounting year. And remember the accounting year ends 30th June. And if the year ends 30th June, it means that it began 1st July 1998. So you look at all the income that they made, within 1st July 1998 to 30th June 1999. In the same vein, if you want to know their uh, basis period for the year 2000, it will be 1st July 1999 to 30th June 2000. That will be the year of assessment for the, 20, the 2000 year of assessment. So let's look at this. Kofi is also a so proprietor who has who has been in business for many years but his accounting year ends 30th june each year what is his basis period for the 2016 year of assessment i think you can do this so if you want the 2016 year of assessment it means that because his account ends 30th june 2016 it means that it, was, it should have started from what first july 2015 to that 30th June 2016. So the reference point for determining is 2016 year of assessment tax or income to be taxed is from 1st July 2015 to 30th June 2016 because this is his accounting year. The accounting year ends 30th June. It means that clearly it starts from 1st July 2015. So this will be the period for reference in determining his what? His uh accessible income for the year 2016. okay again with the same issue if abc commence business on 1st september 2016 and he prepares accounts to 30th april determine his basis period up to 2019 year of assessment so first of all if you want to know his 20 he commenced the business 1st september 2016 so the first thing you can determine is this year of assessment 2017. What will be the basis period for the year of assessment 2017? Remember, his account is prepared on 1st September 2016, right? And it ends 30th April every year. So for the 2017 year of assessment, you will not get the full year 
because he started 1st September 2016. And remember, because it ends 30th June, 30th April, you have about uh, three to seven months. You have about three months in 26, uh, September, October, November, December, four months in 2016, and another four months in 2017. So the first year of assessment have only eight months, which is the 2017, because he started business 1st September 2016. His account is supposed to end 30th April. So between 17, uh, 1st September 2016 to 30th April 2017, you have just about some eight months, right? So the first year of assessment will just be for eight months. But for 2018, you have a full year, which is from 1st May 2017 to 30th April 2018. Remember, each year his account is supposed to end 30th April. So in 2018, which is the second year, it will end 30th April 2018. But it means that it started from 1st May 2017. Same for 2019 year of assessment, it must end 30th April 2019. It therefore also means that the accounting year started 1st may 2018 so these are the basis period which is the bp is the reference point so within this period you determine the income that the business got and then we can determine how much tax is supposed to pay for 2017 year of assessment 2018 year of assessment and 2019 year of assessment so in summary we are saying that there's a difference between the year of assessment and the basis period. The year of assessment is the government fiscal year or the calendar year from 1st January to 31st December. So you have the 2017 year of assessment, 2018 year of assessment and all. But the basis period for businesses, uh, vocations, trade is the award, is the accounting year. So if likely the accounting year is from 1st January to 31st December, then it's the same as the year of assessment. But if the accounting year is different, then you have to look at when is the accounting year ending. Then you do an estimate to find out when did they start to end on that date. And that will give you the basis period for that. So the accounting year, remember, is for a year. So if it's ending 31st August, then it means that it should have started 1st uh, September of the previous year to the 31st August to get the full accounting year. So we use that to differentiate between the two and then have an understanding of where the reference point is in terms of determining the income generated by uh, a business from trade or from your profession. Thank you very much. See you for the next session.